Hello, everyone. I'm Paulo Hodnicki, Chair of the Functional Materials Division. We're happy to be joining the Structural Materials Division in their award ceremony this year, so I'd like to thank SMD Chair Dan Miracle for the opportunity to do so. All FMD awards are determined by the FMD Awards and Nominations Committee of the FMD Council. This committee rotates members each year and is headed by a committee chair who serves a three-year term. I would like to thank this team for their efforts in determining our awards this year. Since we are not able to present these awards in person this year, all awards will be mailed to each recipient after this week's conference. Let me now present to you our division awards. The first award is for the FMD Gilbert Chin Scholarship. Our division presents one $2,500 scholarship to an undergraduate student in their sophomore or junior year who is studying subjects related to synthesis and processing and structure, properties and performance of electronic, photonic, magnetic, and superconducting materials, as well as materials used in packaging and interconnects, such materials and device structures. The scholarship recipient is known as the FMD Gilbert Chin Scholar, the award being named for Dr. Gilbert Chin, a physical metallurgist who made significant contributions to our understanding and applications of crystal plasticity and to the development of new magnetic alloys for telecommunications. Funding for this scholarship is provided through the TMS Foundation. Additionally, thanks to the generous support of Jeffrey Wadsworth, a TMS life member and retired president and CEO of the Battelle Memorial Institute, a private nonprofit applied science and technology development company headquartered in Columbus, Ohio, which is committed to science and technology for the greater good. Battelle is matching undergraduate student scholarships awarded by the five TMS technical divisions dollar for dollar. Congratulations to the recipient of the 2021 FMD Gilbert Chin Scholarship, Lily Taraski, who is studying at the Georgia Institute of Technology. Next up is the FMD Young Leaders Professional Development Award. This award was created to enhance the professional development of dynamic young people from TMS's five technical divisions by helping them to participate in society activities, to make important contacts with TMS leaders, and to network with prominent society members. Thanks to the TMS Foundation for supporting and funding this award. Additionally, they have the opportunity to attend division council meetings, technical committee meetings, and a TMS board of directors meeting during the, during the TMS annual meeting. Due to this event being held virtually this year, the two recipients were offered the opportunity to attend TMS 2022 next year to fully experience the benefits of this award, and they have both chosen to do so. Please join me in congratulating the 2021 FMD Young Leaders Professional Development Award recipients, Yang Lin Kong, Assistant Professor at the University of Utah, and Michael Kai Wang, Assistant Professor at the University of South Florida. Our third division award is for the F 2021 FMD Distinguished Scientist Engineer. This award recognizes an individual for research excellence in one or several areas related to electronic, magnetic, and photonic materials to science, technological impact, broad, sustained commitment to teaching or mentoring, service to TMS and or the profession, and impact upon governmental or policy-making bodies. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Michael Manley, senior researcher at Oak Ridge National Laboratory. His citation reads, for experimental research on thermophysical properties of materials at high temperatures and the discovery of intrinsic localized modes in anharmonic materials. Next is the FMD John Bardeen Award. This award recognizes an individual who has made outstanding contributions and is a leader in the field of electronic materials. The 2021 recipient of the John Bardeen Award is James R. Chelikowski, the W.A. Tex Moncrief Jr. Chair of Computational Materials at the University of Texas, Austin. Congratulations, Jim. His citation reads, for his leadership and pioneering contributions within the science of electronic materials. Our last FMD award is for the JEM Best Paper Award, which recognizes outstanding written contributions to the Journal of Electronic Materials, a monthly peer-reviewed scientific journal that publishes studies, research, developments, and applications of materials that produce electronics. The JEM is jointly sponsored by the IEEE Electron Devices Society and TMS. 
The 2021 JEM Best Paper Award goes to the author of the paper entitled Characterization of Epitaxial Beta Aluminum Gallium Indium Oxide Based Films and Applications as UV Photo Detector, published in the November 2020 edition of JEM from Carnegie Mellon University. Luke A. M. Lyle, the primary author, Robert F. Davis, and Lisa M. Porter. From the University of South Carolina, MVS Shendra Shekhar, Venkata S. N. Chava, Andrew Graytak, and Matthew Kelly. And from Structural Materials Incorporated in Piscataway, New Jersey, Serdal Oker and Gary Tompa. Congratulations to all of these authors. This concludes the Functional Materials Award segment of this ceremony. Again, congratulations to all FMD Award recipients and thanks to those of you watching for your participation in this program. If you would like more information on how to self-nominate or nominate someone else for an award for 2022, please visit the TMS website under the Professional Development Honors and Awards heading. Many award deadline submissions are April 1st, which is coming up soon. Finally, if you would like to become a member of an FMD or SMD technical committee, again, please visit the TMS website and click on the heading Divisions and Committees for more information. Now, I'd like to turn the program over to Structural Materials Division Chair Dan Miracle. Welcome to the Structural Materials Division portion of this award ceremony. I'm Dan Miracle, Chair of the Structural Materials Division, and I appreciate all of you being here today. As Paul did for the FMD, I'll be presenting the SMD awards recipients of which are chosen by a specially appointed nominations and award committee from the Structural Materials Division Council. Afterward, I'll be introducing our esteemed program speaker, Professor Rajiv Mishra. Now on to the award presentation. We'll start with presenting our Structural Materials Division scholarship. SMD is awarding one scholarship to an undergraduate metallurgical or material science and engineering student. Funding of this scholarship is provided through the TMS Foundation. The scholar receives a scholarship check in the amount of $2,500. Thanks to the generous support of the Patel Memorial Institute and TMS Life member, Dr. Jeffrey Wadsworth. Patel is matching undergraduate student scholarship awarded by the five TMS technical divisions, dollar for dollar. The 2021 SMD scholarship recipient is Yazdia, Yazdia Graves, studying at the University of Idaho. Congratulations, Yazdia. Next, we'll present our SMD Young Leaders Professional Development Award. This award was created to enhance the professional development of dynamic young people from TMS's five technical divisions by helping them to participate in society activities to make important contacts with TMS leaders and to network with prominent society members. Again, thanks to the TMS Foundation for supporting and funding this award. The winners have the opportunity to attend, attend division council meetings, technical committee meetings, and a TMS board of directors meeting. Due to this event being held virtually this year, the two recipients were offered the opportunity to attend the TMS 2022 next year to fully experience the benefits of this award, and they've both chosen to do so. Please join me in congratulating the 2021 SMD Young Leaders Professional Development Award recipients. Joy Gockel, Assistant Professor at Wright State University, and Chelsea Hargather, Assistant Professor at the New Mexico Institute of Mining and Technology. Our third division award is for the 2021 SMD Distinguished Scientist and Engineer. This award recognizes an individual who has made a long lasting contribution to the fundamental understanding of microstructure, properties, and performance of structural materials for industrial applications. Congratulations to this year's recipient, Kevin Hemker, professor and chair at Johns Hopkins University. His citation reads, for pioneering work in quantifying the underlying atomic, nano, and microstructural details that govern the mechanical response, 
performance, and reliability of materials. Congratulations, Kevin. Our next award honors Distinguished Service to the Structural Materials Division. This award recognizes an individual whose dedication and commitment to the TMS Structural Materials Division has made a demonstrable difference to the objectives and capabilities of the division and the society. I'm honored to announce that the 2021 SMD Distinguished Service Award recipient is Eric Huron, Manager of Structural Materials Development at GE Aircraft Engines. Thank you, Eric, for your dedication to this division and to TMS. His citation reads, for providing distinguished service to the structural super alloys community over the past 30 years through his leadership of TMS conferences and symposia. Our last award is the SMD Journal of Metals Best Paper Award, which recognizes the authors for excellence of a paper published in the preceding year's volume of the Journal of Metals under a structural materials related technical topic. This year's award-winning paper is titled, An Expanded Martensite Variant Selection Theory Accounting for Transformation Rotations and Applied Stress Fields, Predictions of Variant Clusters in Titanium, which was published in the October 2020 edition. Congratulations to the following JAM Best Paper Award recipients. Zachary Brunson, Primary Author, Research Graduate Assistant at the Colorado School of Mines. From the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory, Senior Materials Research Engineer Adam Pilchek and Research Leader Eric Payton. Satish Rao, Senior Research Scientist, UES Incorporated, and Aaron Stebner, Associate Professor at the Georgia Institute of Technology. Before introducing today's luncheon speaker, I'd like to recognize two very significant groups of people. First, the Functional Materials and Structural Materials Program Subject Chairs and Session Chairs. If you've taken on either of these volunteer roles during this annual meeting, I'd like to thank you all very much for your time and your expertise. The second group of people we want to recognize is the Functional Materials and Structural Materials Division Council Members, along with the Technical Committee Chairs and Vice Chairs. If you are on the 2020 Council or will be part of the incoming 2021 Council, thank you all for your dedication to these divisions programming activities. We're honored now to have Professor Rajiv Mishra with us today to speak on the topic, Pushing Structural Performance of Materials by Combining Alloy Design with Disruptive Manufacturing Technologies. Professor Rajiv Mishra has a PhD in metallurgy from the University of Sheffield and is a distinguished research professor at the University of North Texas. He serves as the director of Advanced Materials and Manufacturing Processes Institute. He is also the director of the NSF IUCRC for friction stir processing, and he's a fellow of ASM International. He is a past chair of the Structural Materials Division of TMS and served on the TMS Board of Directors from 2013 to 2016. Rajiv has authored or co-authored more than 375 papers in peer-reviewed journals and proceedings and is principal inventor of four U.S. patents. His current publication-based H-index is 63 and his papers have been cited more than 21,000 times. He has co-authored two books, friction stir welding and processing, and metallurgy and design of alloys with hierarchical microstructures. He has co-edited 15 TMS conference proceedings. He's an associate editor of the Journal of Materials Processing Technology and serves on the editorial boards of Material Science and Engineering A, Science and Technology of Welding and Joining, and Materials Research, materials research Letters. He's the founding editor of a short book series on friction stir welding and processing, published by Elsevier, and has co-authored seven short books in this series. I encourage you to use the chat feature during the presentation if you have any questions. Before I turn this over to Professor Mishra, 
I want to remind you that since this event has been pre-recorded, it will be available to view on the virtual conference site until May 31st, and then will be added to the TMS YouTube channel after that. We sincerely hope to see all of you next year in person for the TMS 2022 meeting in Anaheim, California. Thank you all very much.